Hello Gemini, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings, I am Fifi, and for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome, and cross watches, you are definitely welcomed here as well, as the roles can be flipped, yeah, they can be reversed, all right, so let's get straight into your weekly love reading, I have the pleasure of doing this for you, let's get straight into it, Gemini, I hope you're all well, okay, enjoying your weekend, it's Sunday afternoon, late afternoon where I am, so I hope you're all well. Now, Gemini, there will be no extended um, for this uh, reading. I want to make it as full as possible um, without making the video too long. I want to make sure that you get all the messages, okay? And you will know pretty soon um, in the reading if this is uh, this is your reading or not, okay? Um, now, uh, with in terms of private readings one-on-one -on -one with me, um, I am booked out for August, but if you still want a reading, okay, um, and let's say if you even contact me today or tomorrow or the end of the week, um, I will book you in for September and I will give you a booking date, okay? So you know that that date is just for you, okay? Right, so um, all that information, all that information, how to book, how to contact me is in the description box below. Um, and if you just want to contact me beforehand, okay, um, if you just want to ask questions or... Um, you want to see availability, okay? I don't like, you know, I don't like just waiting so long. So that's why, um, yeah, I try to reserve <laughs> um, dates for you as soon as possible though, okay? So I always check my emails. I always check my spam, okay? I always respond to everyone. I just saw that Ace of Pentacles. You may be receiving a solid offer, Gemini. Beautiful. Whatever you're working on also um, in business, career-wise, finances, Okay, keep doing it. You're on the right path, okay? That's really going to pay off. Ultimate success. Beautiful. All right, guiding angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini. Weekly love reading, what's coming towards them, even stuff that they do see, stuff that they don't know about. All right, let's do this. What can they expect? My lovely Jimmy Jams, what can you expect? Bottom of the deck, overall energy. Okay. All right, so I'm seeing here the some quite challenging cards, but remember, you're meant to always overcome them. You're Gemini after all, yeah? So we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Five of Swords, okay? Strong Aquarius energy here, okay? Um, it's also here with the Nine of Cups. Very interesting. <laughs> we have Pisces energy. What you thought was a wish fulfillment here really was not. It was built on false hope. There is someone in particular that you are thinking about and you're thinking, oh, I don't trust this person, Okay. Um, the only reason why I say that is because you do have the Nine of Swords, uh, sorry, the Two of Swords, which is kind of like, oh, I don't know, yes or no, yes or no. You do have that Nine of Swords. You've got the Ten of Swords. Well, okay, ooh, something came to a very painful ending here. I feel like someone really broke your heart. You do feel backstabbed. I really don't feel that you can trust this person at the moment, okay? Things may change, okay, but what, whatever they did to you, okay, um, I feel like they were acting quite selfish, thinking about themselves, okay? Um, they must have done a lot of things behind your back as well, okay? It is about lying, cheating, stealing, okay? Um, but yeah, at the moment, presently, if someone had to ask Gemini, the person that's in your heart space right now, do you trust them? Uh, I feel like you'd probably say no. They did something that really hurt you, okay? We've got the Four of Pentacles there, okay? Strong Capricorn energy. I feel like both of you may have a hard time kind of releasing each other, Okay? Um, now, whatever happened in the ending, of course, will be different for everyone, though, but I'm very inclined to say these are not talking to each other. Um, you know, this is kind of having that guarded energy, okay? Um, you know, you don't really want to reveal what you're thinking, what you're saying, what you're feeling, your next move. Um, but yeah, the issues of money, your person could also be having some um, money issues as well, afraid to spend it, okay? Well, they could be excessively spending it just as a way to cope with what's happening in their life. Hmm, um, very interesting. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Some of these may have been with someone in a committed relationship. The only reason why I say that, um, and do not worry about gender, it's the energy that I pull out from the card. But the King and the Queen of Pentacles is renowned that they are in a committed relationship. Okay. Um, but I do, you know, we do have the Two of Cups here. Okay. Cancer energy. This is, you know, my Twin Flame Soulmate card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy here. All right. Lots of love for each other. Um, but I feel here maybe your person was holding back though. Everything was great, but then something happened. And we're going to clarify as well. Something happened and they started to pull back their energy. Um, they may have been in a committed relationship with someone else though. But do they love you? Absolutely. It's just their actions did not match their words. Okay. And that just, that caused a lot of confusion. Okay. 
three of wands. You may be at a distance from your person, okay? But this is the thing, okay? Um, now, we do have the threes, okay? It can be that there was, you know, a third-party intrusion here, okay? Maybe you were the third party. Maybe they had a third party. Um, but I'm really strongly seeing here that they were in a committed relationship already, though, okay? Um, and this is the thing. I do see them wanting to come back, though, okay? You may be at a distance from your person as well, though. I feel like a lot of these, Gemini, you were very patient with your person as well. Um, they may have even said, yeah, I'll leave this person. I'm not going to be with him anymore. And that never happened. But you were still very patient, still very caring, trying to be understanding. But um, you know, it, the three of wands can be about waiting. It is about delays as well, though. Okay. So what's at the beating heart of the reading here? Three of cups, another three. It's celebration. It's reunion. It's coming back together. You may have maybe the same group of friends. Okay. Yeah. Um, see, I'm getting a lot more threes. Definitely showing that there's too many people in this relationship. Okay. Ooh. I feel like a lot of you would welcome this, but they will have to earn your trust. I feel like maybe here they may have ended it, but they didn't tell you the truth of why they ended it. They may have just ghosted you. They may have blocked you. Um, even if you try to you know, communicate with them, they may have just never responded, which leads to that two of swords. Utter confusion. Okay. Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. They're definitely coming back with a love offer, okay? The Knights are all about changes. It's all about messages as well. They're wearing their heart on their sleeve here, and there's definitely a love offer coming here. All of this does indicate that, yep. Ace of Pentacles. They're coming in with that solid offer. I, when I was shuffling, I did see the Ace of Pentacles as well, okay? Solid offer here. I'll put down the camera so you can see the bottom line, so you can see everything. Because um, I also like to shuffle on camera. Yeah, they're coming in with a solar offer. So what is that? It's about committing again, making their relationship work stronger now. Something tangible here. They really want this to work. Whoa, ace of wands. Look at that. Two aces together. They want a passionate new start with you. They never gave up on you, despite their actions. And I understand your confusion because their words didn't match their actions. Okay? No. Whatever you said... Like, you said what you meant, yeah? You meant what you said. <laughs> um, I feel like your person, I have to believe, you know, I'm, I'm very inclined to say that they didn't do it on purpose. They just were not honest with you. It's like they found the easy way out, leaving you to think, well, I'm not trusting you anymore. Okay, but those two aces together, it's definitely saying yes, yes, yes. They are coming back. They do want this. They want to pick up the pieces again. What's the last card here? What's the outcome? King of Wands. Okay. Yep. Yeah. King of Wands is very focused, okay? You could be dealing with a fire sign here, okay? I'm picking up strong Sagittarius and Leo, okay? Um, but they've got laser focus. They're looking at you, okay? They're very passionate about you. And they're going to go. It's all about action. They're going to take the action towards you. But yeah, but can you trust them though? That is a completely different thing. I'm hearing that they're going to have to really explain themselves here with the truth and nothing but the truth. Let's start clarifying. There you are, Nine of Pentacles, being single, being self-sufficient, okay? You're on the right path, okay? Literally leveling up here with um, the type of dream life that you want. I feel like a lot of you are working really hard here, and it's going to pay off. Some of you are thinking about relocating as well with that Six of Swords, okay? That strong Aquarius energy as well. Wow, you got the Three of Wands twice. They're definitely coming in. And showing that you could also be at a distance as well, though. Let's start clarifying. These are very basic messages, um, but let's clarify. So you see we have here the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone was definitely here um, in a committed relationship, possibly married as well. There could have been children as well. All right. Let's clarify. Overall energy, bottom of the deck. <laughs> there he is again. Oh, yeah, he's coming back. Oh, my God. Look at this. All right. Your person really loves you, okay? And I'm hearing a lot of you saying, I really don't care. <laughs> and that's fine, okay? Yeah, there's too many queens here. I don't like that. Got that knight there, okay? Um, yeah, most definitely they could have been definitely married, okay? I'm seeing, if I see too many queens or too many kings, uh, that shows me there's too many people in this relationship, though, Okay? Your person is coming back from the past. Definitely there could be children involved. You have known each other in past lives. I have to say it, okay? Your person's very nostalgic, though. Okay, you could be dealing with the Virgo as well. It doesn't have to be. 
okay? But they're coming in with truth and clarity. Now you have three aces, ace of pentacles, ace of wands, and now you have the ace of swords, okay? Yeah, they're definitely coming back. They want to take care of you, okay? This is all about marriage as well, long-term commitment, someone wanting to take care of you, someone from your past, they're very nostalgic. Um, but that Ace of Swords is all about truth and clarity, you know, starting again on a clean slate, not repeating the same mistakes from the past. So has your person changed? I'm inclined to say yes. They were just very sneaky or maybe about this relationship with you, um, this connection and how probably they ended things. Okay. Yeah, look at, there you are. Queen of Swords. Now, I'm mean, also some of these could also be divorced, but I'm also really getting that you're quite angry with your person. There's been some form of injustice. Something unjust happened to you. Okay, but they want to move into calmer waters. I feel like both of you do. I know that you want to move into calmer waters. Absolutely. Ooh. I feel like it's a bit more smooth sailing. It's not so much resistance now from your person. Clarifying also the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of uh, Wands. It's a passionate start, uh, sorry, a passionate change coming towards you. Wish fulfillment. Your person really sees you as a wish fulfillment. Okay, it's just like having you would be a massive wish. I mean, the grin on that person's face is like, yeah, I want my Gemini. Okay, they're very passionate towards you. Um, also hearing that they, they like fantasizing a lot about you. There is something about you, Gemini. I mean, Geminis are, are known as the great flirts. You're great at flirting. You're perfect with words. Uh, they're still smitten with you. They have not let you go, though. Yeah, look at that. They're very burdened by this connection. Clarifying the two of cups there. They're ready to drop those burdens, hoping that you will drop them as well, like drop your defenses down. Okay, you could be dealing with the Libra here, okay? And that Ten of Wands is also Sagittarius energy. This is my apology card as well. Writing what was wrong, you know? It's almost like they're saying to you, Gemini, how can I fix this? Tell me what to do, okay? And I feel here they really need to explain themselves and they need to prove themselves to you, okay? Because whatever trust that was here is very fractured, if not gone. Okay, uh, they definitely could be going through a divorce as well, which could be um, very burdening for them as well, though. Oh, okay, this is weird. So we're getting a lot of repeat messages. You got the Three of Cups twice, okay? And you also got the King of Wands twice. So they're definitely coming towards you. All right, we're clarifying the Three of Wands. They're coming towards you, okay? Yeah, they're coming as a king. I like this, okay? It's like, it's very bold, okay? But it's almost like I have something to say to you, Gemini. I'm very passionate towards you. It's all about action. And I like this because it's all good to wish, like that nine of cups, that, you know, you're my wish fulfillment. I want this, I want that. Are they going to do anything about it? Yes, they are, okay? They want this reunion, okay? What that three of cups there. Um, definitely the topic of a third party uh, or even a commitment or a marriage, it needs to be discussed as well. Because Gemini, you are all about communication, truth, and clarity. There's something you don't understand. You don't like that. You don't want to proceed forward unless you have all the information. Let's clarify the Three of Cups <laughs> again. There you are. Okay. So it's Gemini uh, Virgo energy. And with that Ten of Swords, it's more Gemini energy. You are on the receiving end of this very bitter, very painful ending here. It's also the card of divorce as well. Okay. You may actually be divorced yourself. Okay. Um, but yeah, your person may try to manipulate their way back into your life, okay? Um, it's like, really? After what you did? <laughs> okay? Um, but a lot of these feel backstabbed by this person. I really feel that they just blocked you, or they did a runner, they just ghosted you, poof, they just disappeared, okay? And you didn't actually have closure here. I feel like maybe both of you are manifesting this, okay? Yeah, this manifesting this reunion. But for you, it's very important to get a, an a actually solid, truthful explanation here. Yeah, look at that. So you got your perfect match here, okay? Together, when things are going great, you make a really good, powerful couple here. And no one should um, underestimate you, okay? But your person here, this is strong Aquarius energy again. Um, your person was not truthful. I'm really seeing here this energy that they just did a runner. They blocked you. They picked up the pieces and they just left, leaving no time for you to absorb or really just digest what happened here. They were not being honest at all. And this is also about being self-denial. You know, they may have just said, okay, I can't do this anymore. Gemini, I'm fine on my own, but they're not, okay? They absolutely, they're in denial. They're lying to themselves, okay? The Queen, oh, look at that. So now we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, and we also have the Four of Cups. Yeah, your person, I have to say it, they're not happy. Whoever they were with, or if they still are with them, they are not happy. They're actually missing you, okay? This is my committed person again, Okay? Now, we, you, I did, you did have, yeah, there you go. 
This is marriage. This is people committed here. Okay. But they're not happy. They miss you. This is the card of, you know, sadness, despondency, depression. Your person could be over drinking or overeating. They're doing something um, that's not healthy. It's just as a means to cope now um, because there's a void there. You're not there anymore, Gemini. And you're very different from the person that they're connecting with. Okay. Or they don't want to communicate with them anymore. That's why they want to give you this solid offer. Okay. They miss you tremendously. Clarifying the Ace of Wands. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, card. We got the Capricorn energy here with the devil. Okay. It is the card of extremes. Okay. It is the card of obsession. They could be obsessively thinking about you or obsessively thinking about the worst case scenario with you, which is like full on arguments here. I have a feeling here, Jim and I, that when you get angry, <laughs> when you speak your truth, people listen. And that's not a bad thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, they could have been dealing with a karmic here as well. They could be really arguing with um, whoever they're dealing with, okay? Um, husband, wife, it doesn't matter, okay? But it's not healthy. That's why they want that brand new start with you because you are not. You are the polar opposite of whoever they are dealing with here, okay? They are worried, yes, that this could lead to arguments, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you, Jim and I, do not want to argue with your person. They certainly don't want to, okay? But um, whoever they are with right now, they are not happy, okay? They are quite sad. They're just depressed. It's one argument after another here, especially if they're going through a divorce or separation, anything. Yeah. Very unhealthy. I, With respect to them, I don't want to be in their shoes. <laughs> so clarifying the King of Wands, we have the Six of Pentacles. Definitely showing me there could be some form of divorce here, okay? Um, your person may have to be paying out maybe, uh, you know, the spouse, um, child support as well, okay? Um, but look at this. The night is all about changes. This has been a very slow process because this is the slowest moving night. They are definitely coming towards you, though. And when they do, that's when things start moving fast. But this, this has been going on for a very long time, very stretched out here, okay? They really want to leave. They want change. They're kind of stuck here. This karmic, I, she's very cruel, I have to admit. I, I'm really not liking this. I feel like they argue all the time. You know, it's just someone that wants to fight just for the sake of it. So these messages here, um, uh, if your person could just completely express themselves, no bars hold, and they were not afraid, um, what's in their heart of hearts? What could they say to you? What would they say to you? What would they say to you? More cards, please. Oops, there we are. Oh, these cards, honestly, they're very small, but <laughs> very flimsy. Last one, please. And we'll also pull out some timing cards for you as well. Look at this. Bottom of the deck. If I came back to you now, I would hurt you even more. Okay, now is not the time, though. That's what it looks like. Now's not the time for them to come back. I really feel that they're not, I, th someone's going through a divorce here. Okay. Now's not the time. Right person, wrong time though. Look what it says. Um, I still, uh, I still have feelings for you, but I really struggle with communication here. Ooh. I'm manifesting you. There's the, um, the magician energy right there. I've tried to distract myself, but I just can't get over you. I feel like it's been very difficult for both of you. I feel a magnetic connection to you. What else? I keep reading your texts. I miss talking to you. Well, they're really filling that void now. I'm sending mixed signals because I'm lost. I feel like this here, um, they're, whoever they're dealing with could be quite controlling, okay? Like berating your person. Like they could, your person could really have their self-confidence here, just really just shake them all the way down. Um, the intensity of my feelings for you made me scared. Please wait for me. I will come back to you sooner than you think. Ooh, let's get some timing cards. A rough idea here of um, when this could possibly happen. All right. This could happen on um, a holiday. Okay, so this could happen, for example, on Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, around that time. Um, winter season. What else? Allow things to come, okay? Mm. It's going to come either way, isn't it? Yep. Uh, we have something about the month of July. One more. 
these dates could also be quite important to you as well. Oh, all right, that's too much. Let's do it again. Spirit, please, one more. What's poking out? We have October, okay? Bottom of the deck, also later than you think. So this indicates for me as a reader, it could happen next year as well, okay? Ooh, there's a lot to um, process here. All right, Gemini, I hope this gave you some clarity. Um, your person is definitely coming back, um, just not yet. This, they need to end this and deal with this. Very harsh, very heavy energy here. So I'll see you, um, I'll see you at YouTube in the next couple of days. In the meantime, take care, love and light to all of you. Okay, bye.